Hello guys, I'm Sean the Bro, and we're here again today to show you more about creating the actual um, boundary lines and the images for walls for your game. So the easiest way to actually do this is to start off with a square, and um, that bottom part down there should actually be black, so make that finished. Uh, so always outline the entire thing in black, it makes it look so much better, and it won't even show up so it'll look normal when you're playing the game but when you're actually editing it you want it to look like that so that in the game it doesn't merge with the other colors and objects uh, so always make the the uh, the boundaries black and then basically you want to do this like a shading thing this is the most basic type um, and I'm only gonna get into the squares today but I have actually a background image that is just temporary um, I'm currently making a background and the goal is that you want to make it fit with the background the, uh, the actual walls with the background as much as you possibly can so that it doesn't look out of place if you're doing a horror game you wouldn't want bright yellow blocks as your walls so um, I always have two shades at least in there um, to start off with the most basic one, I, I did a brown and a darker brown, and it, it comes off as this dirt block color, but since we're doing more of a zombie game, we we are going for the, uh, the gray-black kind of combination. So basically, open up your room and uh, place them in here. Oh, got to create the object first, of course. I'll just duplicate my other wall. There you go. And put this in here. There you go. So here's the brown. This background's temporary, as I said, I'm working on one. But uh of course they're not all gonna be square blocks when I'm when I am finished with this. Um there are games that go well with that, but this being a top down you want the walls to be a lot skinnier and everything like that but this is these are just examples and probably the colors that I've created will actually stay in the game though just I'll, I'll fashion them into different shapes and sizes but so uh, this is the lighter gray it kind of fits with the background but we're gonna work on that a little bit see what we can get to here Yep. So I I would focus on getting the squares done first, and then get get the other sizes and shapes done. Because if you get the if you try and do anything but the squares first, you're not gonna know if you like it, and it's gonna take you a lot more time. Now you could do this. Let me give you an example and put the black or the darker side on the right. I don't know if it's just me, but that always seems to look worse, in my opinion. I always like the darker side to be on the, the bottom left, or the left portion of it. See, if you put this in here, and you can put it in different places, um, it, it just, I don't know, there's just something about it. It doesn't look like an actual block. If you look at the other blocks, they look like there's a real light source that's going off of them or that you're seeing it from a certain angle so now let me show you what happens when you change it back to the original left darker right lighter um, so let's, let's do this oh, that's not what I wanted go back a second I wanted to select a darker color here we go yep keep that now we can make this a little bit darker make this a little bit darker as well there we go but then when you put this back in here it should look um, of course we already have the object it should look more professionally done there we go I like it more already um, it's just something with that maybe if they were all going the opposite way it would look the same I'm not positive You can experiment. Um, 
this is the most basic form. Next episode, I'm going to show you some of the shapes and some of the different sizes. And then finally, I'll show you how to create an actual background. Because that's the hardest thing to do of anything. It takes the most time as well. So, get all of these in here. I'm just placing them anywhere so you can see the different colors and shades of the gray and the blacks. And if you see, this one's pretty close to the actual coloring of the background, the temporary background that I have right there. So this would probably be a good one to do some of the shapes in, some of the, uh, the actual walls. If you see the, the walls that are Im imprinted into the background, then those would be exactly what I'm talking about. That's what they could do for. And as I've said three times now, it's temporary, so maybe all of these colors will be changed and I'll go with a whole different theme. But the point is that the blocks are made. That's the most important. So let's make one more. And one that actually is my favorite is if you do completely black and then a really dark gray. Um, I just really like the look of it. So let's make another object here. Alright. Here you go. Now let's place this guy in here, and he looks pretty freaking cool. Um, and I keep placing blocks there, and apparently <laughs> if you hit undo, it doesn't undo it. But, okay. So, of course, in case you don't already know, the snap X and the snap Y will change how mu how far each block goes, so they won't snap into place, like it less the name, but um, it'll make it'll give you more freedom, which you'll want later, but for, it, for just testing this and showing you what to do, that's not too important. Um, let's place a few more. Let's uh, liven this place up. I want to make this look nice. There we go. Does that look like an arena? That, I did that again. <laughs> Do that every time. Okay. So good. Now let me fix something. Did you see how the uh, they weren't even? Because I, I used the line tool to divide the middle. And it wasn't actually an even line. So this is an easy fix. But I want to show you how much every little speck makes a difference. The smallest imperfection can be seen. So, let's just fix this up really quick. And actually, by doing this, we're going to run about too short from the end. But if you watch. If you watch, that looks annoying from there, but if you try and put the browns back, here we go. Try and put the browns back though, it's just uneven, and then you'll you'll see that it'll look better without them. Or maybe your, prefer your preference is to have them there and that's okay. Personally, I, I like it better without them. Um, it just all looks good in the end. You can't really tell from up close because every little detail does count, but you but still when it gets smaller of course you're gonna see less of it. So do the same with these other ones really quick. It won't take long at all, and then you'll see how much of a difference it's actually made. Yep, yep here we go. So Alright, block three. Same thing. And 
needs a perfect diagonal line. And last but not least, a black block. And I accidentally delete the bottom one here. Whoops. And I was like, oh wait, you gotta keep that black background. <laughs> Hold up. Then I'm trying to figure out why. And then I still don't notice I have the wrong color. There we go. Fix that up. And now let's look at it. Yep, now that looks so much better and so much uh, even. So, thank you guys for watching this video. We'll get into more advanced ones next time. If you enjoyed, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, guys.